The GFRC spray technique using our GFRC blended mix is often used for complex three-dimensional shapes or very large projects where solid cast concrete would not be practical. For this project, we will be following the spray recipe found in our catalog. GFRC blended mix, chilled water, water reducer 420, pigment if desired, AR glass fibers. Start by pouring the chilled water into the mixing container and adding any pigment that may be used. Mix well. Add a portion of the pre-measured 420 water reducer and blend well. Add about 3 quarters of the blended bag and mix until homogeneous. Add a small amount of water reducer if necessary to achieve a milkshake consistency. Continue adding the remaining drying mix and blend well. Scrape the sides of the mixing container to incorporate all of the powder. Thoroughly mix the material until homogeneous. After mixing, GFRC blended mix should be allowed to rest for 10 minutes in order to false set. After resting for 10 minutes, the mix will be too thick to spray. Fluidity can be easily regained by further mixing for 30 to 60 seconds. It may be necessary to add additional water reducer 420, being careful not to add too much, which can cause mix segregation. After reblending, the mix should be flowable with some body. It will sheet off of a margin trail. Pour some mix in the hopper and begin to spray the face coat, starting in a corner. Continue to spray working backwards out of the corner. When approaching another corner, release the gun's trigger, allowing only air to pass through the nozzle. This will blow away any loose sand particles. Proceed to spray the corner, blending into the previously sprayed area. Continue this procedure until all surfaces have been covered to a thickness of approximately 1 16th to an eighth of an inch. Larger pieces or molds with more details may require a second coat sprayed from alternate angles. AR glass fibers are added to the remaining mix. Blend well to fully incorporate them into the mix, being sure not to overmix and break the fibers. Check the face coat and make sure when a finger is pressed against it, it will not remove material, but is still damp and dark in color. If the face coat is left too long before a backer layer is applied, there may be delamination. Carefully place a thin application of the fiber layer over the entire surface quickly. This will allow more time to finish building material to the required thickness around the rest of the project. Be careful when adding material around the edges, being sure not to trap air pockets, which will leave hollow voids and weaken the project. After placing a uniform layer, proceed to roll the area with the compaction roller. This will help compress the material, reducing air and aligning the fibers, both resulting in higher strength gain. Once the form is filled to 3 quarters of an inch, build up the perimeter edges to the desired thickness. Allow a few inches for registration at this thickness. Use a margin trowel to flatten to the form wall. Wait a little longer for the vertical application, testing the timing with an application of more material. If there is minimal slump, you may continue filling the vertical field to our 3 quarter inch thickness and compact with a roller. Follow that with the edge build up to the sides of the form. Cover the project with plastic and an insulated blanket. Allow to cure overnight for a minimum of 16 hours. The next day, blanket and plastic are removed. If the casting was filled beyond the form, grinding will be needed. Using an angle grinder and proper dust remediation, safely remove the excess hardened concrete to the edge of the form. If you don't have the grinding or dust collection equipment, it will be essential to trowel the backside level with the edge forms before covering to cure. All screws are removed and side walls are taken off. Using a drywall knife, pry the form from the concrete.
The clay is carefully removed from the concrete edge. The modeled surface finish will even out as the piece uniformly dries and ages during the first few days. Light processing will also make the surface more consistent. Move the project to a wet polishing station and hand polish the edges with diamond pads. Be sure to round over the sharp edges created from grinding the backside. For the surface, a pneumatic orbital sander with a 400 grit diamond pad was used. Be sure to clean and wipe dry. Newly cast pieces of GFRC should be placed on non-porous spacers which evenly support its weight. This allows for uniform airflow around the entire piece, reducing the chance the casting will bow or curl as it continues to cure. Now the project is complete. For more information on finishing and sealing, please visit our website.